guys. I did my hair and my makeup. I did my hair yesterday and it'll last for a couple days. So you'll get the joy of having my hair done. <laughs> but I bet some of you thought, oh, but Dana got caught up on laundry and her laundry room doesn't look like that anymore in the mornings. Well, you were wrong. To be fair, this is all clean and I just need to fold all of it. It's actually in separate categories too. And I don't have a, a sorry, battery died. I do have a little white to put in. So I just need to fold all of this. Abby brought her laundry down yesterday when I wasn't expecting it. So that's mainly what all of that is. They're huge sweatshirts. So there's way less laundry here than it looks like. But I'm gonna go with Abby really quick to her school. Get my other shoe. Trying to pull my Hawaiian vibe shoes out here. So we're at Abby's school. I don't know if I got a full explanation <laughs> in before we left. She really doesn't, doesn't like to be filmed, so she was right around me when we were at home um, and is uncomfortable with the camera out. So we are at her school and she's turning in her school books and then she has a few minutes to go to her locker and finish cleaning it out and get all our supplies. She has to wear a mask going in. I can't go with her. She can't go with her friends. She can't stop and talk to anyone. Um, and they have time slots. I think there's like five hours of time slots today. And then for the next two weeks, there's time slots. So today is um, A through B, last names. And then it's going to take them two weeks to go through all of the name slots um, in order to get everyone in with the least amount of people going in at the same time. Jason's home today, and so we're going to run errands and maybe get something done around the house. I'm trying to think. Oh, he wants to go to Cash and Carry today. And then maybe Costco if we don't find stuff at Cash and Carry that we need. So I, one, I have a question for you, but I know that by the time I actually get your answer, because I'm a week ahead on my videos, <laughs> the answer isn't going to be relevant anymore. But I am still, still curious for the future um, an answer to this question. I have decided to go ahead and cut my hair. Let me see if you can see how long my hair is. I think I'm going to cut it like a lot. So I am sick of the weight and the heat that my hair pour, <laughs> like puts on my head. And if my head is hot, the rest of me is hot and I'm just uncomfortable. And I don't like I don't do my hair. I don't enjoy doing it because it's so long. And Chelsea and Ashley like to touch it and then and do my hair at night. And then this just gets all greasy. So I want to get my ha hair highlighted and then chopped off. And normally I go and get it done in Utah when I go home to see my family because I have a hairstylist there that has been doing my hair for I mean before I got married. She did my wedding hair. So we're talking 19 plus years. She has been doing my hair. And now she has a salon in her own home that they built in and so she doesn't have to pay like rental fees and whatnot but she only charges me like forty dollars for a haircut and a full foil highlight like super cheap which is why i wait and get it done when i go home this is a long little chat by the way grab a, a, a morning beverage if you're watching this in the morning and she always clears a schedule to be able to fit me in because she knows there's only a few days that I can come in and get my hair cut when I'm home. Because um, usually we have, you know, activities kind of jam packed um, within a week or two that I'm home visiting my family. And so, and she's usually kind of booked up. And so she will clear a schedule for me when it's a day she normally doesn't cut hair sometimes. Or she'll fit me in between two or three old ladies that are just getting their hair done for the day. Literally, they, she just curls it for the day. And so she'll kind of just fit me in between a couple of those. So she goes out of her way to fit me into her schedule. So then I give her a tip. I actually usually pay her almost a hundred percent tip. Sometimes I pay her $70, $80. So I'm giving her, and that's why she fits me in. Cause she knows that I will pay well and it's still cheaper than what I would pay for a ha haircut here in Washington. And so it's still worth my money to pay her that much because she takes her time out of her day to go ahead and cut my hair. That being said, I don't normally think I would need to tip someone who is working out of their own home because they're not paying rental fees. Their wage that they're getting is, you know, from the haircut prices itself is their time. The product maybe there's a there is a cost to the product for the hair highlight, but it's certainly I, it doesn't cost them $40 
per highlight for that product. So it's not in the price of the product that she t does her, t her wages. It's in the price of her time. And for me to get my hair cut done, it's probably two hours worth of work. And so that's $20 an hour of her time, which I think is totally legit. It's totally fine. That being said, I have a friend here. Well, actually haircut, hair salons are opening up today but I know that they're gonna be super busy and I don't trust, I don't have anyone here that I trust in a hair salon to do my hair. I'm rant, I'm gotta keep going with this really quick before Abby gets back. I don't trust a hair salon here that I can actually afford. So I have a friend who has been hair, cutting hair in her grandma's kitchen <laughs> during quarantine. We're not gonna name names, no one's gonna get in trouble. And she's still doing that even though now it's, oh, she scared the crap out of me. She came from behind the car. That's all I had. I oh, had you only more. had one little thing? Okay, let me finish this really quick, Abby, and then we can go. Um, so she's been doing it in her grandma's house, and she is now offered publicly to be able to cut hair because now she can, now that it's legally allowed in the hair salon. So my question is, she's charging, and this is why I don't get my hair done in Washington, from her own, her grandma's kitchen. She's charging $30 for just the haircut, and $50 for a partial foil or $75 for a full foil. So we're talking 80 to $125 or whatever, I don't know the math, 80 to 100 and something dollars for haircut and foil highlight. Do I tip on that or do I get a partial foil, which is half of what I would normally get done for the same price that I would pay to get it all the way done in Utah when I go because I can't afford, like I'm already getting half the work done for the same price. Do I tip as well? Because I feel like for 80 bucks, I'm I'm paying her the same, for less work than the lady that I pay back at home and she's doing it out of someone's home where she's not paying rent and fees to be able to like cut hair in that location, if that makes sense. I shouldn't have to tip, right? And I'm just debating whether I pay her to do the foil or just pay her to get a haircut and get this taken off, get the weight taken off as we start into the summer and then wait until I go home and have the foil done. She just, this is why I don't get it done here. Cause that is ridiculous to charge that much money when someone else is not. And I don't feel like a foil is worth $75. So, I mean, that's insane. That's $35 an hour just for the haircut or just for the foil. But then there's, so it's a hundred dollars, almost a hundred dollars an hour for the haircut and the foil. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Not a not hundred dollars an hour, a hundred dollars, fifty dollars an hour. So I'm just on a rant. I don't know what to do because I really want to, I once I made the decision to get my haircut, I was just going to go to a salon and have them kind of chop it off and then call it good. But then this girl offered to cut hair and, but now she knows I want a haircut and now I don't feel like I can back out. Now I have a decision to make. What do you guys think? Should I, if I do it, or if I were to, you know, do you tip someone who's doing it out of their own home? I guess is my question. They're not paying salon fees and chair fees and rental fees. Do you just pay the price per haircut and hair work that they're doing? All right, we just came back from, or loading up from Cash and Carry. Spent more than I think we planned on, but we got a lot of good stuff. Um, grapes to get us through two days <laughs> and then half and half some pasta big huge bags of pasta brown sugar a bag of this is Abby's favorite kind of Doritos sorry it's really noisy oatmeal marshmallows for the fire pit Jason's really wanted some cod we got some of that some ramen for Kaylee there's all our little fun flavors fun flavors to well, we've tried all the flavors. Uh, mango is the only new one that we haven't tried. Strawberry we've done before. But then there's orange juice. Then we got, uh, we have had this, but the girls haven't had it before. Some tortellini, some tater tots, and bagels. And a, you guys, this is like $3 for this giant bag. How many ounces? It's a four pound bag of macaroni pasta. That is a really good deal. And then just generic cereals, but we're gonna make a cutoff time for when they can eat cereal, like 11 a.m., get them out of bed. A 
a little more than we planned on spending, right? Yeah. We haven't really like come to shop shop here. We usually just buy a few things. And today we kind of went through the whole store and what could we get here versus at Costco or the grocery store that might save us some money. And so the pasta was definitely one of them. They only had like the elbow pasta and spaghetti as choices, but right? I don't think there's any other uh, shape of pasta. Oh, there might have penne pasta. So there's your choices shelves. aren't very empty shelves so maybe there's other stuff in the future but. right but i haven't been able to find like big packages of ramen at costco so that was useful so we just stocked up on a few things and now we're hungry for lunch the kids are home they have done their homework the two of them the younger two have done their homework like i said katie and abby were taking a break when i left and then they were going to finish up this is just kind of our the story of our life. We have to run all the errands and they don't get to come with us because they can't go in any of the stores. Well, it sucks to be them. They've been so locked down for so long. Yeah. We're opening up. Things are opening up. Hairdressers, like I mentioned earlier, opening up um, today. Hobby, not Hobby Lobby. And I mean, if hairdressers are open, then come on. I know. I was. I, we were talking about Ikea and opening up before hairdressers, but it's not open yet. I have like a huge order for Ikea now, but I can't get a click and pick up time. And then Marshalls, oh no, head down to Bellevue. I don't go up here. Okay. Um, Marshalls and Home Goods and TJ Maxx all open up next Monday. So I was gonna do an Amazon order because I need new razors for my face as well as like beauty blenders. And I'm just trying to figure out like any point of contact for my face that's probably causing a problem and I, I washed my beauty blender today but it's really old so I need to get a new one but I'm not willing to pay like Ulta prices for an actual beauty blender I just need to get the knockoff brand so I'm gonna wait one more week and then hopefully I can go to Hobby Lobby and get some of those like bathroom supplies that I need I know the girls are probably needing them too I forget that like I'm not the only one using beauty products anymore like face wash and you know that kind of stuff I have girls now that are using that kind of stuff so I mean, I'm gonna follow up with them and see what I need to get for them I feel bad because I know that that would be a fun store for them to get to come to Abby loves to go to home goods with me you could probably get her a mask and stuff and you think she could go I think it might be I safe. It might be something that would just be fun for her to do. I mean, if hair salons are open, I mean, it's all about our own personal safety. Yeah. And do I think we should all be out, you know, rubbing up against each other? No. I'm not excited to go sit in. But she could wear a mask and walk. If she wore a mask, carefully. washed her hands, you guys stay away. She's only gone to the store like twice yeah, in three and a half okay. months. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, we don't have any huge plans tonight except for cod for dinner. <laughs> I don't, we don't have anything exciting we get to do, but, oh, and your dad brought, oh, he came over yesterday and got donuts for everyone, but I didn't, I didn't eat one. I withheld. Good for you. I know. I had an, a bowl of ice cream instead. All right. Next up is lunch and then we'll head home. We were going to go to Costco, but now we've got frozen stuff and I don't really feel like we need to go to Costco now. I mean, there's a few things that I could get. <coughs> um. I can't remember what I need to get, but I think it might be able to wait a day or two. Cause just based on how much we got today. Gun range is open. God bless America. All right guys, some days are better than others. Um, it is quarter to nine. Did you get medicine? Yeah, we did. We got some. Be Have you taken it though? Not yet. We think Chelsea is either sick or the allergy medicine that we got yeah, wasn't working. Oh, yeah, it wasn't. So dad got her some Benadryl allergy, right? So I just take one. Or well, we, I'll look at the instructions. So she's just not feeling good. She's already been in bed for a little while. She just doesn't feel very good. But I have just spent the past, what, Abby, like hour? <laughs> hour and a half, a long time, doing her nails. Can I show them? Yeah. yeah, they turned out really good. We do the gel nails like I have. and But it just takes a long time, huh? Yeah. So when I do Abby's nails or anyone else's nails, we usually just bring the table in here so that we can like watch TV as, at the same time. So that's what we've been doing for the past little while. Earlier, after Jason and I went to Cash and Carry, he took a nap and I was working on the computer. I'm kind of struggling, you guys, because, let me go in the other room, they're kind of noisy. Um, 
it's okay. So I'm kind of struggling. Maybe I'll go over here by the window. I don't want to turn the lights on. I'm trying to get my channel to work better and everyone that I follow or that I'm trying to get help from that has larger channels or has advice for me or whatever. I'm on like YouTube challenges and groups to like improve my channel and everyone wants me to like, you know the thumbnail, the picture that you see and click on? I need to increase my rate of people clicking on that first video because that's what's going to help my channel grow, right? Um, everyone's telling me I need to change how that picture looks and they keep telling me I need to make it look gimmicky and add emojis and make it super bright and change the background and add it a fake background and I don't know I'm just really struggling with it I almost kind of like had a fight with someone on um, an Facebook messenger group that I'm in with other family youtubers because they said if you want to make it in this you know business of YouTube you got to be like that and I'm like I don't want to be like that I don't want to like so you know do that to my followers and I said I don't want to create a picture of something that didn't actually happen during our day I always try and use a picture a screenshot or a caption of a glimpse into our day and that's what draws you to watch my videos and she's like well then I don't think you're gonna make it <laughs> I just I can't you know, if you go and look on YouTube, you will see bright colors and flashy and gimmicky. And I just know that that doesn't have to happen. And I've been struggling with it today and working on different editing and pictures. And one person even told me to change and go take a, a photo after, which I've done before. I've totally done, you know, f photos after the fact um, and staged a photo, especially if I've made something. A DIY I always stage those kinds of pictures to make them the best that they can be but um, someone told me to like take a picture of Ashley recreating a moment in a setting that didn't even exist and I said that didn't actually happen in the video I'm like oh it's okay just you know she was doing dishes you'll have seen the video already Mom. she was doing hang on one second she was doing dishes and they wanted me to put big huge rubber gloves on her and put tons of soap and bubbles in the sink and and have a big flashy face and change the background to a cartoon kitchen background and and I said that didn't happen like that didn't actually happen she didn't wear big rubber gloves to do the dishes the sink wasn't completely full of bubbles and she wasn't actually happy to do it like you guys tell me in the comments below do you do you appreciate my honesty and my realness in not even just the photo at the beginning but in our videos because if you do I'll keep improving upon it but I don't want to change it and make it gimmicky because it feels like the people who are here you guys that are currently watching like that I do things because I'm real and maybe I'm wrong but I'm not going to change that to grow I'm going to keep doing me you guys tell me down below if you want me to keep doing me and just improve or if I'm wrong, and you can let me know if I'm wrong. If you want me to be like the other big YouTubers that are just, like I guess I hate clicking on a video of, of someone I follow or someone I don't, I don't follow and getting 20 minutes into a 21 minute video and realizing that photo at the beginning isn't ever gonna happen. It, it, was, it was just to draw me into a video. Clickbait, whatever you wanna call it. I can't stand to get to the end of a video and realize I just got ham. I got, I don't even played. Scammed. Scammed. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> Where are you? I'm You're... trying to wait for you. She's waiting for me. She's being very patient. Yes, I don't like being scammed and I don't like scamming you guys. <sighs> you can tell that my attention has been built up over this today and that's where I've been. It was nice to like kind of step out of it and do Abby's nails and I'm just going to call it a day. But I just, let, let me know what you guys think. So now, Chelsea, what do you need? Medicine. How much medicine yes. should we give you? Either. This is like real life, guys. There's no gimmick in this. Okay, <laughs> let's go medicine. find out how much medicine we should give you and get you back to bed. All right, Chelsea needs 10 mLs of this Thank bad boy. Ashley, this will help, or Chelsea, this will help you get to sleep too. Yeah, can you please move? Yeah. There's Ashley. What are you trying to do, boo? Okay, take that, Chels. 
Really Ashley, thinking. what are you doing? You're standing here. You're just standing there? You're sitting there. That's really strong of a smell. <laughs> I really don't like cherry. You don't like cherry? More... Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you are... One of these days, I'm going to not let you wear those headphones all day. <gasps> Chelsea! <laughs> I don't like cherry. Nor bubblegum. I hear you. Grape. Cherry, bubblegum, and, and banana are my worst grape. flavors. Grape, grape, is, grape is fine. Grape I cough like, medicine is totally fine. I like grape. grape. Well, it's gross, but it's better than any of the other flavors. Okay, it is 9 o'clock. Bedtime. Okay. Get down. Ew, now it tastes weird. And you already had your screen time. No. I should say you already had your screen time. No. And no. you know darn well you've had your screen time I all can. day. Go to bed. I'm going to turn this camera off because I'm not wanting to argue with you on camera. But you've had your screen no, time. No. Go to I bed. Haven't. Say love you. Mahalo. No.